Yo, what's going on? It's Hyth. I'm back with another video, and in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you the best OBS recording settings, the best Minecraft settings, the best Vegas render settings, the best Lunar Client settings, everything. I'm gonna be releasing everything I have. Um, in the past few videos, I've been using some random renders that are terrible, but I have found my actual good render settings now, so I'm gonna be showing you those. Um, and I'm also gonna be showing you how to fix a little issue that looks like this um, when you're playing. It, it you get encoding overload in OBS. Uh, it looks like this when you like fight someone, it'll start lagging really bad like that, and it's just it's just not a fun experience for making videos and editing and stuff like that. So um, what you want to do is I'm gonna show you the OBS settings first. So you want to go over to output, uh, put the output mode on advanced, and then go to recording. Put it on NVIDIA NVENC H.264 new if that's what you have. Uh, rescale output uncheck that if it's checked unless you're playing a 1280 by 720. Um, CQP put it to 24 if you're getting encoding overload use 24 if you're not use 22 if you have like a beefy computer you could use like 18 or 15 uh, and then preset this doesn't matter for any or this this is for every computer use max performance and profile high this will be checked uncheck it this will be one of these will be one set on both to zero and then click apply and then you'll go to video Whatever FPS you want to record in, I use 240 FPS because that's just what I like. And uh, now we're going to hop into okay. the Vegas These settings. are the Vegas settings I got from this YouTuber that I watch called Front Slash. They're really good. I'm going to show you the 30 FPS first because most people like to render in 30 FPS. They're both different in their own ways. So, uh, if you don't know how to upscale with FFmpeg, you can render in... 3840 by 2160 um, which is high quality obviously um, if you don't know how to upscale um, but what I would suggest is changing this to 1920 by 1080 and following an upscale tutorial um, if you guys want I can make one um, and then make sure pi pixel aspect ratio is on one square and then frame rate is on 30 and seconds per frame is five and then this one is four and make sure this is 69 and then put your bit rate to 100 if you have good internet uh, use 100 if you don't have that good of internet use 16 like if you have terrible internet use 16 uh, or if you have terrible internet use 8 if you have all right internet use 16 decent internet 32 if you have like really really good internet use 100 um, and then get a project uh, video rendering quality best and then use project settings uh, and then default and then those are the 30 FPS settings uh, now onto the 60 FPS so in the 60 FPS what's different is this is on 0 and this is on 60 uh, I'm actually going to change mine to 1920 by 1080 because I just set up FFmpeg so I uh, put the smoothness to zero and then this to whatever your internet can handle. And then, yeah, basically that's just it um, for the, the render and recording settings. So now I'm going to start up Lunar Client and we're going to hop into this. Basically, we're just going to get into the Minecraft settings first. So render distance, lowest, uh, graphics fast, move lighting off, uh, frame rate unlimited. View bobbing, don't matter. Uh, use VBOS. This is a big one. Please turn this on. It makes your FPS so much higher. Um, this can be what you want. Dynamic lights off. Shaders off. Details. Clouds off. Trees fast. Sky off. Sun and moon off. Fog off. Translucent blocks fast. Dropped items fast. Uh, Vignet fast. Swamp colors off. Smooth biomes off. Alternate blocks off. Entity shadows off. Uh, held item tooltips that's your preference uh, show cave stars on so um, the you, you can still have a custom sky by the way um, if you turn your render distance up to actually I think since you're on lunar client if your render distance is on two, you can still see your custom sky but if you have these two off um, make sure you have custom sky on so you can actually see your sky but animations I do all off then I click it twice until it says decreased on the particles. Quality, um, 
turn this off, clear water off, better grass off, custom fonts off, connected textures off, custom sky on, custom entity models off, emissive textures off, anti-aliasing off, random entities off, better snow off, custom colors off, natural textures, custom items, custom GUIs off. Then you go to performance. This is where most people like mess up and get confused. Fast, fast render and fast math obviously do increase your FPS. But for me, when I play, I'm getting over like a thousand FPS, and when I have these on, it causes encoding lag, which is the issue that you saw in that in that video that I showed at the beginning. So these settings will make my FPS go high to a point where my my GPU can't handle it because there's so much there's, there's just like so much so many frames being uh, put out at once that my G, like my GPU just can't encode it. Uh, I think that's what it's called. Um, but just turn these off, turn these two off. If you're still having issues, even after having these off, turn smooth FPS and smooth world on. Um, these just make it to where your FPS is stabilized and it'll keep it lower. And, uh, this is really all for the Minecraft settings. Well, I'm, I'm going to get into what really matters now. Um, so... Uh, I'm gonna just release my lunar settings to my lunar profile. I have this is all I have on status effect uh, FPS counter and CPS counter and then I have 1.7 visuals um, CPS toggle sneak zoom uh, Potion effects hit color if you want your game to look really smooth use this hit color right here 0 0 FF 5 5 FF It's really nice uh, scoreboard put it on the lowest um, pack organizer, chat, name tags. Um, you could edit these if you want. Uh, I have time changer, so I could like, you know, change my game to night and day. Um, FOV changer. Uh, copy my FOV settings if you want. I personally think these are the best FOV settings ever. Um, I'm gonna just scroll through that. You can pause it and copy them if you want. Um, free look, I have it bound to left all if you want to try that out. Team view, um, I have that on. Uh, and then this is where you get into the performance mods in Lunar Client. So over here, copy all of these right here. And then copy all these. The reason you want all these off is because these will drop your FPS a lot. But the wings, they don't really drop your FPS like the other cosmetics do. Um, cause like the crowns and stuff sometimes have, like the hats and stuff sometimes have like stuff coming out of them. And it's just weird. Show emotes, uh, turn that on if you want. Or you could turn it off cause some people can like emote into the ground when they're fighting you and it might confuse you so you could turn that off if you want. Uh, search mods by option, that's just preference. Smart disconnect, uh, preference, I'm gonna actually turn that off. To verify transfer request, I just keep that on. Uh, you can turn on this if you want. Uh, transparent background uh, and then that's basically all for this now in performance you wanna uh, you can turn this on uh, I don't really know what these would do uh, I'm gonna just turn it on and see what it does uh, full bright would actually help with your FPS too uh, limit on focused FPS so like if your game is tabbed out you could limit it to 30 FPS I personally just turn that off because I don't really care uh, shadows off uh, entities lowest tile entities lowest all of these off unless you're playing on high pixel magnetum you know, but lazy chunk loading um put it on if you put it on lowest you'll get a huge fps boost but if you put it on off obviously you won't get an fps boost so lowest is the highest fps boost you can possibly get from low, from uh, lazy chunk loading. Um, this is basically it. I mean, you can copy the controls if you want. Um, most most things are default, uh, at least from there. But um, yeah, really, that's basically everything. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, sorry, I haven't been uploading like I usually do. Uh, for some reason, I, I just kind of quit uploading and started uploading like two times a month instead of uploading like frequently like I used to. Um, I just really haven't had any video ideas and I haven't felt like recording anything if I'm being 
completely honest. Like, I'm not just going to sit here and lie and say that I was sick or, like, something like that. I've just been really demotivated. Didn't feel like making any videos. So I just decided to hop on here. I've been messing around with my settings for a few days and finally found something that I like. So I'm going to just share this to you guys. You can see my FPS right now. It's pretty high after putting all these settings on. Uh, but, yeah. Peace.